What are you doing? Taking okay. pictures and video. I hope you get sued. You hope I get sued? I do. Sued for what? For badgering. Texas, what's going on, man? Right then, you lovely lot. Now, it isn't often I feel the need to offer an apology before I show you the video I'm going to be reacting to. But you've all seen the title, so sorry. And to those of you who are already familiar with the channel, you will know that I think frauditors or auditors, First Amendment auditors, whatever the hell you want to call them, are complete morons who clearly have nothing better to do with their time than go out and harass people just trying to live their lives and go about their days in peace. And my opinion on Karen's isn't a lot better. So imagine, if you will, an interaction between a Karen Power couple and a goofy First Amendment auditor. This video is literally overflowing with irony and hypocrisy. So strap on your face palm protection and let's get this rolled on the show, shall we? Mm -hmm. Please subscribe. It's funny because then I'm not trying to give you a hard time, but I think it's funny for you to come out and ask somebody what they're doing on a public well, sidewalk. Customers are asking and it, it's... They're not comfortable with it. Well, you know what I would tell them if I was you? I would just say, I don't know, it's a couple of guys outside taking pictures and taking video, I don't know. But is it that though? I mean, really, two grown men filming in a public place is perfectly fine. But two grown men filming in a public place with the sole intention of winding people up and getting them into an altercation? Not so much. And before anyone bursts a blood vessel, yes, I am fully aware that it is perfectly legal to film in a public place. Yes, I am fully- Yes. Y yes. Yes, I am also fully aware that as an American, all he is doing is exercising his right to free speech. And I am also fully aware that with me being um not an american then there will be certain americans in the comment section of this very video who think i have absolutely no right to have an opinion which if i am not very much mistaken is our first taste of irony well why, why won't you tell me i mean why is it a big deal why would i tell you what what is what a secret why are you filming the store i'm not just filming your store You've decided in your mind that it's just your story. That's not what I'm doing. Okay, so as much as it pains me to say it, yeah, he's right. As long as they are just stood there doing what they're doing and going about the very important business of filming random members of the public for no reason other than that's what they wanted to do, then he's technically not doing anything illegal. Is this strange behavior? Oh, yes. Some might even call it creepy, but he's right. It isn't illegal. And this is where most people go wrong with fraud it as. Sorry, did I just say fraud it? Huh? <laughs> How embarrassing. I obviously meant to say auditors. I just is don't get what the issue the is. Well, I, I don't understand why you won't tell me why. Why I'm filming? Yeah. Well, there could be a million reasons I'm out here filming. I know, but you know why you're filming. So why are you filming? I'm just out enjoying the day, taking some pictures and taking some video. It's the first time I've ever been in your neighborhood here. Now, call me old-fashioned, but wouldn't it just be easier for these First Amendment auditors to just say that they are there filming because they can? Now, to my not-American mind, if I ask somebody why they were filming in a public place, which, by the way, I would never do, but if I did and the answer I got was, well, I'm filming because I can and want to, then that would be an end to it for me. Would I think it was weird? Yeah, of course I would, because it is. But I would just walk off and carry on with my day. But to be fair, the lady they're talking to now is only talking to them because she works in the store that they are filming outside of. And there's been customers asking in the store why there are people filming them as they leave and enter the store. I feel like I said store a lot of times, then. Eh? Store, store, stickity store. Hi, interview me. We don't do interviews, otherwise I would. What are you doing? I am trying to take some video and pictures and people keep asking me what I'm doing. Well, duh, because it's a really weird thing to do. You don't think that if you walked out of you a place of work and there was some random guy stood there pointing a camera directly at your face, you'd have question. Actually, given the fact that that's what this guy does himself, then maybe he wouldn't. But anyway, this lady is out shopping with her family, and I do use the term lady loosely. Because actually, no, let's just watch. What is it? What, what, uh, what's the real question? What do you really want to know? What are you doing? Taking pictures and video. Okay, why? Because that's what I feel like doing today. Okay. Why are you shopping at the loft? Because I love to shop there. Well, there you go. 
carry on with that. I hope you enjoy yourself. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you get sued. You hope I get sued? Yeah. Sued for what? For badgering. Now, the fact that she just said to him she hope he gets sued for badgering or whatever the hell it was she said tells me a couple of things. And did you notice that the other woman who was stood just beside her has made a really quick escape? And the fact that she walked out of the store with this couple makes me wonder if she's maybe their daughter or something. But anyway, that's by the by. But the fact that she got herself away from that situation as quickly as she could tells me that this isn't Karen's first public confrontation. And secondly, don't say that she's don't American. Say that she's don't American. say that she's American. That she's American. That she's American. I'm, I'm not trying to be mean, but you guys really do seem to love a good lawsuit. <laughs> tell me I'm wrong. You're really gonna get in my face, bro? Are you my face, bro? I'm, I haven't moved my feet. I I'm haven't, not, I'm, I'm not moving like my feet. Uh, you feel like I'm harassing? Do you yeah. see this? Yeah, I'm seeing it. Well, remember I said just a few minutes ago that this video would be literally overflowing with irony? Well, there you go. Is this auditor honestly gonna tell this guy with a straight face that he doesn't want him sticking his camera in his face? And don't misunderstand me. I think the Karen type of person is no better than an auditor, but that's funny. I mean, that's exactly what First Amendment auditors do. They literally go out and ram their camera in the faces of people who don't want them to. And the only justification is, I do it because I can. Because I'm an American. <laughs> well, sorry. Just because you can do something, that doesn't necessarily mean that you should. I do. I think you're being foolish. Why don't you get out of my face? You just walked up to me and put yourself I'm, in my I, face. Hey, if you can video, I can stand I where I want to stand. Not in my, my face. face. I'm not in your face. You're not in my face. I'm not. Really? No. Yeah. No? You I'm don't not. think you're in my face? No, I'm you not. You don't think your camera being six inches from my face is Yours is as close to mine. Listen, I'm out on the sidewalk taking some pictures. I'm too. Go on with your day. You go on with go your on day. Go on with your day. You bro. go on with your day. So what you're saying is then that you find it uncomfortable when someone is filming you, especially if they do it at close range and without your permission, which everyone knows you don't need because there's no expectation of privacy in a public place. But I do find it very interesting that a First Amendment auditor with almost half a million subscribers on his YouTube channel would even say what you just said, let alone upload that footage to his channel. You're making yourself sound even dumber than this Alpha Karen who got so close to the camera we could almost smell his breath and see what he ate for breakfast. Yeah, please, please put me out on social media. Man, you can call whoever you want. I'm gonna sue your asses oh, yeah. so I, bad. Is what are you so angry way. about? It's not a public what is because it? She wants You're following me up and down the sidewalk and I would suggest you cut it out. Now, I'm starting to wonder if this guy is actually an auditor because surely he can't be objecting to these people doing exactly what he's doing himself. Look, you can tell yourself that all you're doing is exercising your First Amendment right, but the fact that you have two cameras pointed directly at the front doors of the store shows us all what you're really up to. And in my humble, very un-American opinion, all auditing is is a cash cow for you. Assuming that your channel is monetized, which I think it was, I'm sure I saw ads, you're most likely making a really nice income from videos like this. And on the rare occasions you come across a video from an auditing channel that does it right, because there are some that do it right, there are never interactions like this, and why would there be? The type of content you make relies 100% on you pissing people off for YouTube views. You keep moving. I keep moving How do away I know that you're, you're, you're not videoing and coming up on my face or my kids' faces? You walked out of the door. You're right, I did. And then all of a sudden, I said, ask me, uh, interview me. Okay, thank you. You too. Bye bye. Have a great day. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh my word, this is like watching a pair of eight year olds arguing over who's in charge of the TV remote. Both parties are at fault. I failed to see why this woman decided that it was her place to start questioning this other guy about what he's doing there. Keep your hooter out, Karen. Don't be so bloody nosy. It's really none of your business anyway. You've made a non-issue into an issue because you just couldn't keep your gob shut. But don't panic though, I'm not on the auditor's side. <laughs> oh no. As I said, I think they're all to blame for this showdown. And why waste the police department's time with this childish behavior? Carry on, off you go, toodaloo. Carry on. You're welcome. Carry on. 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 Carry on.
You're making the ladies in this store uncomfortable. You're making me okay. uncomfortable. I don't really care. I don't really care call either. Then. Your I don't want to call the police. I'll be happy to. Go ahead. Knock fact, yourself out. Have. Call the police. We have. Good. You're going to wait for him and get an education today? I will. Good. Excellent. I'll wait here too then if that's the case. Sounds like a perfect plan. A I think you're, I think you're foolish. Afternoon. I think you're both foolish. How's I that? really don't care what you think. Oh, obviously you do, otherwise you wouldn't be standing here. No, I'd like to know why you're making the ladies in this store uncomfortable. Ma'am, I am on a public sidewalk taking pictures and video. Oh, this again, mate. I agree, you're on a public sidewalk as far as we can tell. And yes, you're correct. You are free to film if you want to. Why you would want to is a complete mystery to me, but you knock yourself out, pal. But do you not think that if your camera wasn't pointing straight at the doors of the store, then this whole situation could have been avoided? It never fails to amaze me whenever I look at First Amendment auditors, because more often than not, they justify it using the First Amendment, obviously, which is their right, I suppose, but please, don't try to tell us that you don't have another motive. I mean, who the hell would be watching these clowns without the confrontations that occur in pretty much every auditor's video? Do you really think people would be watching a 45 minute video where all you did was film a public building and nothing happened? No, of course they wouldn't. And people certainly wouldn't be reacting to them like I am now. People have been doing it for a hundred years and they'll be doing it for another hundred years. You're gonna put a stop to everybody? That's you ever, you ever watch any video from 25, 50, 100 years ago on TV just because it's amazing? All the time. Good, so people 100 years from now will watch my video. Love but you, you haven't asked Thank you, for man. my I appreciate permission. You. I don't need your permission. Yes, you do. Absolutely. That's why I said I'm glad you're going to stick around for the education. I don't need your permission. <laughs> you're so wrong. No, I'm not wrong. Yes, you are. No, I'm really not. I've been a professional photographer for 35 years. Not wrong. I'd almost forgotten about the husband. Look at him, just standing there pointing his phone at us. Look, Mr. Whatever Your Name Was. As much as it saddens me to say, but you're right. And when the police arrive, they will most likely tell this lady that you're right as well, which I'm sure will make you happy. But can't you see that whatever this is just isn't worth it? Isn't it worth considering the fact that not everyone is comfortable appearing on camera? No? No, I didn't think so. Listen, I'm, I'm trying I'm trying I'm trying to I'm trying to walk away from you and be out of this conversation. I'm just not even keep interested. On keep on going. I'll go whichever way I want to go. What do you mean? You're free to leave as well. You're right, I am. But you know, now I want to be entertained and I'm gonna wait for the police. So you're a sick minded individual? Your entertainment comes from other people's suffering and misery. Did he just say that the Karen's entertainment comes from other people's misery? Well, you'd know all about that, wouldn't you? And let's be honest about it. I can't get over the complete lack of self-awareness from this guy. And I know I've already said it, but my guy, you are literally getting upset with this couple for the exact same reason that they'd upset with you. And even a First Amendment auditor should be able to figure that out. Your channel is chock full of videos exactly like this. I've tried to find one where you're just doing what you claim you do and audit it. But every single video I came across on your channel relies on one thing. You pissing people off to the point where they try to pick a fight with you. How are we doing, sir? Good, how are you, man? All right. These gentlemen have been filming people coming into the store without their permission. Uh, they're on a public sidewalk, and sir. Yeah. And out of the store got, and making the ladies at work there feel uncomfortable. To the store asking why they're it's being not against the law. It's, there. it's, it's not against the law to be rude to ladies. No, Do they have a not. contract here? They don't need one. It's a public place. Okay. No, they do need one. No, ma'am. Have you looked at the laws on... Oh, so she's not going to believe the police either. There you go. Now then, do you think I'm justified in calling this woman a Karen? You told the police what this auditor guy is doing. And don't get me wrong, I think they're lowlifes as well. But if I was looking to point the finger of blame here, then I'm afraid to say I'd be pointing it in every direction because you're all at fault. And telling the cop that he's wrong just because he didn't give you the answer you wanted to hear makes you as dumb as these auditors. And I feel it would be remiss of me not to mention the fact 
But Mr. Karen just asked the police officer whether or not it was illegal to be rude to women. Well, sadly not, my friend, but I'm with you, though. But I'm a bit old-fashioned with that sort of thing. Unless, of course, they're a Karen or a flat earther. Then they're fair game. You're a fool. You're an absolute fool, and you proved that to everybody today. And a few hundred thousand people are going to see you acting like a fool. You want to give us your name so everybody knows who you are? How about your address and your how about my address? Yeah, Why, know. you're that kind of guy too? No, I'm not that guy. Yeah, no, I'm not I'm interested, curious. bro, thank you. I suggest you listen to what the police officer's telling your wife, if that's who she is. We're listening. Yeah, you know you're not listening. Yeah. Yeah, your wife's in there telling him he's wrong and he hasn't read the law. Well, he's gonna, he's gonna talk to the ladies in the store. Oh, so they're gonna tell him what the law is? Man, no, you people are foolish. You, you know what, have a nice day. Yeah. And you know what? Bold is good for some people. It's not a good look on you. Yeah. And that right there is why I have zero respect for people like this. Really, dude? Now, I showed you right at the start of this video, and if my memory serves me, you aren't exactly winning any prizes for hairstyle of the year either. It's like a bloody playground argument. Neither of you were winning this argument because you're both wrong, but all you've done is what we see kids doing all the time. When you don't hold all the cards or have the upper hand, you resort to childlike name calling. What the hell are you gonna call him next? The smelly poo poo head. We learned something today? Yeah, you don't wanna admit. Go, yeah, let's go, darling. I got educated. I'm a fool and so are you. Bye bye. Bye bye, darling. I can't admit when I'm wrong, darling. <laughs> no luck. And I promise you, I, I, I am not trying to come across as a tough guy here. I'm the furthest thing from that, despite how I may look. But nobody, and I do mean nobody, would speak to my wife like that with me there and come out on top. Was she being a dumbass? Yeah, of course she was. Obviously. Was her husband a bit strange? Uh, yeah. But to be fair to him, he's only been standing there in complete silence for the last few clips we've watched. And this older guy has been goading him and trying his best to keep the confrontation going. But I... Can't blame him because, as I said earlier on, nobody's watching First Amendment order the videos to see the quality of the order. This is nothing more than car crash TV. You know you shouldn't look, but you can't not look. And this guy knows it, which is why I, for one, have zero respect for any First Amendment auditors or what they do. Yeah, you're a harassment. Try to learn something. Expand your horizons. You're not too old. Every day is an opportunity. Seize the day. And when you see somebody out taking pictures, thank them next time. Hmm. So you know I said earlier on that the auditor was saying that he wasn't doing anything to anyone. But from where we're all sitting, it would seem that that's gone out the window now. The woman has clearly been told by the police officer to let it go. Because as you quite rightly said, you're not really doing anything wrong. Are you being a bit of a dick? Uh, yeah. Are you being an annoyance to members of the public? Double yes. And it does stick in my throat to have to say that. But I'm not going to lie about it because that would make me no better than the people I make videos about. But when she left the store, neither her or her husband said a word to you. So the only conclusion I can come to is that you want them to stay. And you want them to carry on the argument so that you can get more views on your YouTube channel. Alright, alright, watch this next. But before you do, make sure you subscribe by order of the creaky blinder.